Sometimes picking favorites is difficult, unless we're talking about Sailor Moon characters, in which obviously it is Sailor Neptune. But that's why when somebody asked me what my favorite chord was to play fingerstyle, I had to think about it, and I think I finally settled on this E minor nine type chord right here. And there's a couple of reasons uh, why, and I wanna talk about it for a few minutes. So basically, it's really easy. You just put your pointer finger on three B, which is a D note, and maybe your middle finger on four D, which is an F sharp, okay? Now, the reason I like this, and one really great example of this chord, uh, practically, is the Bob Dylan song, Girl from the North Country. Uh, it sounds like this. So really, right there. All I'm doing is I've got that chord in place. My thumb is jumping back and forth between the low E and the D strings. Really awesome song. Uh, another great example of this with one variation. All we're gonna do is put your pointer finger on the F sharp, the high E string, exact same chord, like this now, and we play it out uh, like this. Okay, that's uh, the beginning to uh, Angelus by Elliot Smith. So a couple of different reasons of how we can use this chord and really how it can be interpreted different ways, all right? So again, at its most basic, it's like an A minor seven chord, two frets higher, all right? That's all you really have to do. Now, you can kind of look at this a couple different ways. Like, let's say I'm just playing maybe like the bottom five strings, okay? So now I've got an A, an F sharp, a G, a D, and an E, all right? Now, what I could, I could maybe look at this like, all right, maybe I've got a D, an F sharp, and an A in it. So that's a D major chord, right? And then maybe if I grab that high E string, that would be like a D major add nine, or even like a add 11 or something with like uh, the G in there. Again, in the, the examples I just used, we started with the low E string as kind of our root note. So that'd be E minor nine, a couple different ways to look at it. But the reason that I wanna talk about it is because it's a versatile chord that you can kind of do a lot of different things with in different situations. Uh, for example, like in the Elliott Smith song, Angelus, uh, we're gonna go from like a B minor, to an A, to a G, all right? So what I like about the openness of this chord is that we can add notes all in the same position to get kind of like a variety of different chords within a key. So like I said, we've got this one open right here. If you put your pointer finger on two A, now it becomes a very B minor-like chord. Okay, we can open it up to get that A again. And you can actually uh, have your pointer finger jump to the third fret here. And now it's like a G major seven chord, okay? So just by adding a different root note, you can get a lot of different kind of flavors of this chord. Also, like let's say you wanna put your pinky on the fifth fret of the A string. Once you do that, it's kind of like a C major chord. It's two frets higher, so it's a type of D chord, okay? So I really think that this is like a cool kind of little chord that you can experiment with because you can add different root notes around. kind of get a lot of different sounds off of it. Uh, again, you'll see this chord in a lot of different fingerstyle songs, whether it's with a capo or anything like that. But I definitely think it is one of my favorite fingerstyle chords to do just because it has a cool open sound on its own. And you can really easily add different root notes that are all around without having it be too much like of a hand stretch. Sometimes when you want to make big open chords, you kind of have to like stretch it out pretty big like that. But I think it's something that's really accessible to maybe beginners who are starting uh, in a finger style kind of deal going on that isn't difficult to do and it's versatile. So really take this chord, I guess we'll call it a E minor nine and uh, you know, use it to your heart's content. And definitely uh, if you have any questions or maybe even other suggestions about uh, cool finger style chords, leave them in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, the website and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.